Hello boys and girls and welcome to the 2021 Musical Sprout school year. So excited to be here with you guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't come to you guys in person, but we chose to do this route, a virtual route. So we get to come to you through the computer. How excited is that? Well, one cool thing about this concept is that we get to actually be at some of the sites that show us the connection between our town, San Antonio, and the countries that we're gonna be studying. This segment is Spain. We're really excited to be here because we get to actually be on a physical site where Spain came here and helped settle this area. So we have a lot of Spanish influence, thus our name San Antonio. We even have downtown the Spanish Governor's Palace, which was once the home of the governor of Spain in this area. So it's pretty cool to be here. I'm excited. I hope you enjoyed the concert, but now we have some lessons to go through. So we're going to go through different parts of San Antonio. We're going to see some connections between San Antonio and Spain. And we're going to go through have some great activities lined up for you. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to lesson one. Hi, I'm here to talk to you about the sights and sounds of Spain, but specifically the sounds. Now there are three really main instruments for Spain. We have the classical guitar, the castanets, and the cajon. Let's talk about the classical guitar first. The classical guitar is a very popular instrument that you see in a lot of Spanish music, mariachi included. What it is, is it's a guitar, acoustic, it's wooden guitar, but the main difference between the classical guitar and the American guitar are the strings. The classical guitar, Spanish guitar, has nylon strings that create a nice soft tone to it. Plus, it's, the strings are thicker, so your fingers can do a little bit more of that flamenco style that you're used to. The other instrument are the castanets. Oh, we're all familiar with that one. That's where the flamenco dancers, where they do like the clapping with the hands. The one I have here to show you today is a cajon. Here's a cajon. There's a cool story behind the cajon. Now, the cajon used to be, was formed by these travelers who used to travel all over the world, and they would wind up with these wooden boxes that would just be sitting around. So instead of throwing them away, they would actually recycle them, boys and girls, and they would get the boxes and create these wooden pieces, and they would be their drum. So let me show you what the cajon looks like. We have some wooden, every wooden part, but in the back is a sound hole, what they call the sound hole. Inside are some kind of chains that you'll see, but you can't really see it, but you could hear it, and it sounds like this. Now that we've taken a look at some traditional instruments found in Spain that you'll use later for the activity, let's take a look at the bridge. We're going to look at what a musical bridge is, and we're going to look at some different actual bridges that you could find in Spain and connect the two concepts. Is there a connection between a musical bridge and a physical bridge? Today's word of the day is bridge. Can you say that? Perfect. Now, why the bridge? What does that got to do with Spain? Now, a bridge takes you from one place to another place, correct? In music, a bridge can take you from one part of the song to the other part of the song. Let me show you what that means. We have the verse, the bridge, and then the chorus. So the bridge connects the verse with the chorus. How does that compare to a physical bridge? Here we see a bridge at the river walk. Here we see a bridge at the park. Both going over water, both taking us from one point to the next, You'll see that in Spain, there's bridges all over the place and they're beautiful. Some are some of the unique wonders of the world. But how does that compare to a musical bridge? As we start this hike around Spain, taking us to different parts of Spain and the connection between Spain and San Antonio, we're going to start here at the bridge. What is a bridge? As you finish these lessons, you're going to see and connect Spain to San Antonio. You may not see it now, but somewhere here, there's many connections to Spain. But what is the musical bridge of a song? Well, it, we know that it takes us from one point, crossing over to the other point. But how does that compare? What is a musical bridge? A bridge is a distinct section of music used to help reach the resolution. So just like a musical bridge and a structural bridge, again, it takes us from one place to the next. As we bridge the world through music, we have to take a look at the notes and see how it's written so we could better understand what we're gonna do for our activity. Just remember that just like a physical bridge, the musical bridge has different parts. Two parts are one verse and two the chorus. It's a, it's a similar structure that you'll see based on repetitive patterns. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, connecting the parts. So bridge is often a direct contrast to the chorus. So in our music, when we're going from one side to the next, we need something to connect the verse and the chorus. So that's where the bridge comes in. Let me try to explain it by using drum patterns. So this is an example of a bridge. And what I want to show you is just, I'm going to use this little area right here on the screen so you can see uh, and hear the differences. 
So you have a bridge in music is basically a part that connects two very different parts to a song. So, for example, you'll have one part, the beginning part, that might sound like this. Then you have the third part of the song that sounds like this. So you need something here to connect this part to this part, right? This is the bridge, the middle part, okay? So this is what a bridge might sound like. First part. That's the bridge. Here's the third part. So I'm going to do it again. First part. So there are the three parts, the verse, the bridge, and the chorus, with the bridge connecting the verse to the chorus. Now that I've explained what a bridge is and showed you here on the table, let's go to Spain and watch Alejandro Sainz and use his music to show you examples of what a verse, a chorus, and a bridge sounds like. Check this out. Boys and girls, that was Alejandro Sainz, a composer from Madrid, Spain. We're going to see him later as we journey through our country of Spain. Let's take a look at some websites that we're going to be using for today. I hope you enjoyed that example from Alejandro Sainz on a verse, a bridge, and a chorus. Now I'm going to take you to see the resources that we have for this lesson. These are our resources for the Lesson 1 Musical Bridges. Let's take a look. So we have here our virtual instrument card. It's going to take you to different sites that have virtual instruments and games on music. This one has a bridge of a song. It goes deeper into what actual bridge is, so I want you to read that. There's an activity with that, too. And then there's this, e-digital cards. It's called Musical and Spanish Bridges Connection. So here we have a definition of what a structural bridge is and what a musical bridge is. Here's an example of what a musical bridge looks like as it's written down on paper. And here are some examples of bridges that you could find throughout Spain. But I want you to take a look at this one right here because it shows the creative side, how we need to be creative sometimes when we connect one thing to the next. As you see here in this picture right here, you see a bridge that curves and it curves because of the landscape, because of the landforms that they found here in, in Spain. And you see how it comes out of the mountain and it curves over the valley to connect to the other mountain. Now that's very important as we look at musical bridges and how it, you have to be creative to connect one form of the song to the other form of the song. Let's take a look at the next one. Another resource that we have here is this card called the Bridge of a Song. It's a great resource and an illustration of what a bridge is in music and the exploration of bridges and locations and how you find them and where you put them in a song. I want you to read through that. There's an activity for that in the lesson. Another resource that we created for you is this virtual musical instruments page. This is where the activity comes in for this lesson. You're going to have on these cards a virtual guitar. You just click on the, on the title right here, and it's going to take you to a virtual guitar. You have a virtual cajon. If you click on there, and you're going to be able to hear uh, what a cajon sounds like, different variations of cajones. Here, you're going to have a virtual piano. You're going to click on the title, and you're going to be able to play a piano using your computer. And a virtual accordion. 
a virtual drum machine. You get to put loops together and you get to create a song using this virtual drum machine. It's one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Oh, I love this one. This one, you're gonna be able to click on the title right here and you're gonna be able to create your own music. Now, here's the activity, here's where it gets fun. You're gonna be able to create a verse, a chorus, and then what's that thing that goes in the middle? The bridge to connect the verse to the chorus. So we're gonna have fun with that. And this, I'd like for you to explore, so you could explore some more composers from Spain and see exactly where they're from as we visit our continue our study on Spain. I want you to check that out. And those are our resources for this lesson. You want you to have fun. I want you to build these songs. And I want you to be able to understand that in everything, there is a bridge that connects one part to the other part. We have to have that bridge stable. And sometimes we have to be creative. But uh, all the time, especially in this environment, I want you to have fun. Now, boys and girls, I want you to take advantage of some of these resources that are here. And I want you to spend some time comparing the musical bridge and the actual structure bridge. And look at those pictures of the various unique bridges that you could find across Spain. Some are made out of stone. Some are made out of metal. At the end of the day, they all do the same thing. In order to get to, from A to B, you got to cross the bridge.